Welcome, welcome my friend to today's video. I have five colors of paints. I have five brushes and five different pieces of paper and I'm going to create five different paintings. I'm glad that you're here with me today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Did those brushes by chance look kind of weird or different or anything? <laughs> well, those are actually some makeup brushes. They got sent here in a makeup kit that my daughter didn't want. And so I would actually tried to sell those on Macari. But they never did sell. And so in the back of my mind, I've said for a very long time that I wanted to take those brushes and create some art with them. And so that's what's happening here today. But I will tell you, I thought it would be a little bit better. As you can see there, a lot of the paint comes off. It doesn't even make it onto the paper. When I set out to create this uh, project, I wasn't quite sure how I would do it. If I would do individual paintings one by one by each piece of paper, but as you can see here, I've gotten going and things have just started transpiring and rolling off onto the other pages, which I do not have a problem whatsoever creating like that. In fact, it's more kind of my jam, but I'm just telling you, if you were to try something like this, don't think you have to bounce off of each piece of paper. You can do them individually, but I just thought it would be a, a fun project to take on of doing five, five, five. I do think it was worth trying this with these type of brushes and I probably will use them again just because um, but I wouldn't say that the results turned out what I thought they would have but if you've got any old makeup brushes laying around I would definitely give it a go as you could see a while ago whenever I was getting that brush out and saw all that paint drip off it kind of tells you how much sticks in there and what rolls off and then I'm like well that's probably what happens to all of our makeup we <laughs> get lost in the brushes As I finish creating here, I want to share a little message that the Lord put on my heart the other day. Maybe as far back as you can remember, there being a group of people who did stuff outside of school or work, and now even in your older years, you see these groups on socials, and when you do, you cringe, you wish you had a group. These cringes come because you felt those as a child growing up. They cause you to flash back as far as a child remembering the first time it happened to you, those feelings. 
you know, the group that claim they can't do life without each other. Looks like they are posing for the front of a TV show. Prettier, smarter, have more than you. Skinnier, funnier. I get you. I feel you. Let me say this. I'm your group. Even if I'm only one, I'm here and your friend. Maybe art isn't your jam, but cooking, crocheting, knitting, gardening, tennis, organizing, planning, running, biking, or something else is your jam. I want you to know you're welcome here. It's all a myth. It's a lie. The devil wants you to believe. Yes, even at your age. Let me tell you, if you were meant to be a part of a picture-perfect group, the Lord would have placed you there. There's nothing wrong with you being alone. Let me say this. Someone out there wishes they were alone and happy like you. It's true. The thinner pieces of paper in this project, to me, you know, didn't turn out as well as some of the thicker pieces, and that's okay. But the thicker pieces, like the one that's up under that piece of paper, is a more thicker piece. I think it was an acrylic piece of paper. And then the piece in the upper right-hand corner that's got this uh, orange-looking circle. That was a mixed media piece of paper. So because they're thicker, I think they kind of held the paints a little bit better. And then of course the cardboard is in the middle, up at the top. And the other, I mean obviously you saw that it was a dictionary page, so it was a lot thinner, but the grid paper was extremely thin, so it kind of was difficult working on it. I'm going to be finishing these pieces up here in just a second and give them a dry and show you them a little bit more of what they turned out like to be. 
and I just wanted to close out the video and tell you that I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back next Monday. This was a fun thing to do with all the fives and limiting myself to five colors and five brushes and the five papers and I encourage you to set yourself for something like that where you limit yourself and see what type of results you get and if you like like the results or not. If you've made it this far in the video, let's leave a comment. Comment dinosaur. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.